Hey guys, so uh, today's adventure, I'm gonna be heading to a place called Rocky Lake. I'm gonna be getting my kayak and stuffing it in my car because I don't have a roof rack and uh, driving down there and I'm gonna be checking out this spot um, along these train tracks uh, in the hopes of finding, yeah, who knows what's been thrown off from those rail lines. And yeah, it's beautiful fall season here in Nova Scotia. You're gonna see more of the colors as I drive uh, uh, en route and I'll show you colors obviously in the trees when I'm in the water, but I'm really excited about this uh, This one I have a good feeling and uh, Yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna go get my kayak get all my gear and get in the car and go First things first just got to check to make sure I have all my gear. So I got my main mask backup mask backup snorkel just in case uh, one boot two boots my w different weights, just kind of depending on what suit I want to wear, either the three mil or the seven mil today. Um, got my bag, the three mil suit. Now that I'm thinking out loud, I think that'll be enough today. Seven mil hood, pair of gloves, and my fins. Oh, there's an old bottle from previous venture and my additional GoPro mount. That'll be, that'll come in handy. And let's go get the kayak. So very important decision to make. Orange red kayak or my green kayak. I know you can't actually respond to this as it's a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Out goes Y-O-U. All right, green it is. Someday I'll get a roof rack, but since I'm only going maybe two kilometers from my house, this will be good. Just have to get some bungee cords. All right, so yeah, we're at Rocky Lake. Uh, I was able to get my whole kayak in the car, so that was a win. I didn't think I could actually fit. Um, so I'm gonna just kinda, I haven't been in this lake before. Don't really know what to expect. I'm gonna take you down here. This is probably be the way that I get in. The water looks, uh, looks pretty clear actually. I mean, despite the weather today, it's kinda rainy and misty today, but the train tracks are over there. And um, then there's a whole bunch of homes up all along that ridge. So I wanna get in my kayak, go across, uh, and then kind of scout the water and park it at different spots and get in and uh, yeah, see what I can find. Uh, I do have a good feeling about today. Uh, so hopefully there's something to be found and uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go suit up and I'll see you on the GoPro now. All right, so I'm suited up, I'm in the water, let's get going. All right, so I'm at my first spot across the lake and the water's pretty clear all around me. So I'm gonna be going kind of up this way and back over there just for a bit, see what there is. And if I don't see anything, I'll get back in the boat and keep going up along the shore.
in here and I'm probably going to swim now with the kayak. I'll just kind of drag it ahead of me for a bit instead of...
Oh, okay. So just changed batteries and uh, been in the water for about an hour. I'll show you guys everything so far. It's pretty full of trash. Uh, a couple broken insulators, which are fine. Uh, lots of shoes and boots. Um, I'm getting into another area here where it looks like there's more stuff. So I'm going to kind of keep going up. I am starting to get cold, so I will probably won't be in very much longer. The GoPro's got about an hour left. So, yeah. All right. cold now so light's starting to fade gonna head back to shore uh, I did find a Bacardi bottle the cork top which is interesting it is machine made there's a line down the middle but it's kind of an interesting bottle and then this is definitely the coolest find from today it says Edison battery oil made in USA Thomas Edison Incorporation in glass. Uh, I'm gonna look this up. That's uh, that's a really cool bottle. I don't know if the mic's recording this or not, but <coughs> had a fun time. Definitely fun checking out new area. Got some Bromo seltzers and other insult, broken insulators and trash that so feel good to clean out the, the lake. Um, I've got to swim back all the way over there. My boat's full. I'm going to be swimming for a bit and uh, yeah, I'm going to. See you guys on shore. All right, so yeah, it's dark now. Um, I dragged the kayak up. It has tons of stuff in it. I don't think I, you guys will be able to see very well. Uh, I'll just show you in a quick sec. Yeah, so the kayak is jammed full of stuff. Um, I'm just gonna take it home and uh, kind of put it on display in the driveway because there's just so much dirt and trash um, and I'm just too tired and cold so I want to get going I'm gonna get this in my car drive back home and I'll show you guys all the stuff there all right so back home this is the ugly part of uh, yeah the diving um, and snorkeling I had filled my entire kayak um, with all this junk I'm not sure if you guys can see too well I'll try and brighten this up but uh, yeah we've got uh, some boots ice skate 
tons of food preserving jars, uh, aqua blue broken insulators, um, a paddle. Um, there was a bit of a, a, a clue to maybe this area being older than I thought. Uh, this broken glass is an, actually an aqua blue and it says James Rui on the bottom, which is a, uh, an older style, uh, which is an older glass maker in Halifax. <laughs> Uh, found someone's wallet, nothing in it, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, this this can't be that old, but it's kind of cool. Just a Bacardi uh, cork top bottle. And then, uh, oh yeah, that's right, a plastic saxophone toy. Uh, lots of cobalt blue little Vix jars, which I found before. Uh, batteries, you name it, broken flashlight. And then I'd say probably the coolest thing tonight would be this little bottle that says Edison Battery Oil, made in USA, Thomas A. Edison Incorporated, Bloomfield, New Jersey. And on the back is a Thomas A. Edison signature. And uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know how old this is. It is machine made, you can tell by the seam down the side there. And uh, yeah, so that's all the trash. Um, a lot of you guys uh, wonder what I do with it all. At this point, I'm gonna sort it, uh, recycle, um, throw out the garbage, and uh, hold on to the things I find interesting, in which case tonight will just be that one bottle. But hey, Rocky Lake's a little cleaner now after uh, taking all this crap out of there, and uh, now I can cross another lake off my list. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's one of my longer ones. So thanks for sticking through it with me and I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are.